Thank you guys for watching my YouTube videos. If you like this video, please click on the like button and leave me a comment. And why not go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all of my videos. And you can click that bell icon. Right, Guido? So in my search to find the perfect chew toy for Simba, my Savannah monitor, there's been a lot of hits and a lot of misses. One of his most favorite balls are these. Your plastic, your, you know, which would be in a, a play structure type thing for him to go around in. Now these work great and he loves these. I can't show it to him because he'll go right after him. The problem with those is they become this very quickly. The second he puts a little hole in it, the air comes out, he squeezes it down, and he could potentially turn it sideways and try to swallow it. it would be a nightmare. Even though, again, always supervise him. So the next solution was, let's go look at a dog toy, only because I don't want to have to be watching over him like a hawk every time he chews, even though he loves these. So I went with these, the Chew King. I'm like, okay, this is for heavy chewers, 50 pound dogs. He's at, you know, nine pounds or something. Hole in the middle, but these are, these are really hard. So I thought he would love these. In fact, he went after it like crazy the first day as a tryout. Problem, too hard. Even if I squeeze it, I'm barely giving any give and he doesn't get the type of feedback he wants from it. So he's not, he shows no interest. Now he's, he's shown no interest to it. The size though, the 2.5 inch size is what I'm looking for because that's a good size for him. Now I really like this style ball and I think it could be good. So uh, the nice thing about these guys is they have a like super chew, which is this one, and then a medium and then like a light. Well, I didn't want to go with the light. So I decided, why don't we try out the, the medium chew king and let's try it out together and let's see what happens. For reference, here's chew king. See what he does with it. It's chooking. Chooking. Look, it's chooking. It's chooking. Doesn't care about it at all. Now, if we take his favorite ball, look at this. What is this? Turning his head. And there's and there goes the strike. Yep. Yep, yep. So not only did we have the strike, we have the capture, we have the uh the attempt to kill. You know, this this is his thing to do. I, I made a whole video of him playing with this style of ball. We know he likes it, we know he enjoys it, but it's just gonna get to the point where it's almost too easy for him now. And then definitely come over here. When he gets larger stronger bigger faster stronger better it's going to be too easy oh hopefully he doesn't try to drown it so i'm going to get this from him and then we're going to try to introduce the medium chew king and guess we'll see how it goes all right so we got that away from him we're now going to try the medium chew king okay so what we're hoping for is exactly what we see. He's able to compress this thing, unlike the other one. So maybe he's able to feel like he's making some headway. He's able to close his jaw, where with the super chew, the extreme chew, he, he wasn't able to, to squeeze that thing down at all. Now he kind of, these balls here have a hole in them, to, you know, so you could put a treat in them. So it probably would be easier to uh, chew not utilizing the hole like to go the other way but uh oh well he likes to do everything the hard way but i think i think hopefully as long as he's able to continue to you know close his jaw which he's really able to give this thing a bite i think we're going to be in luck oh god hopefully he's not giving up on it no maybe just a reposition Okay, turn around for the camera. Thank you. 
Thank you. I appreciate that. See how he listens when he knows he's being filmed? Told him to face the camera. That's exactly what he did. So what we're looking for, the behavior here, is we're looking for a couple things to see if he's going to like this. We're looking, obviously, for him to chew and hold on to it. We want to make sure he's able to close his mouth at least more than halfway. And then we want to look at this. We want to look at killing behavior. So he's going to try to do a few things. He's going to... He, Notice he moved away from the dirt to put it up on the wood. That way he's got a solid base to kind of try to force it into himself. Um, so we're going to look at that. We're going to look at him slamming it maybe on the bricks or against the, the wood or even potentially trying to drown it. But I think, ladies and gentlemen, we possibly have a winner here, which would be just great because finding a good toy for him has really been a chore with how picky he gets on his chew toys can't find something too hard can't find too soft can't be chewed to death so something like a, a racket ball or like the chew king like that they're just they're just too solid and then the plastic uh rubber the plastic balls for like a play pen too easy to destroy and then some smaller rubber balls are too easy to destroy as well now this is not something i would leave in his cage because again i would want to watch him play with this but it's not something i hope that even if he doesn't swallow it what if he were somehow able to force enough into his mouth where he couldn't get it out and it got lodged in his throat you know the same type of supervision you would give some animal that you just want to take care of so why don't i I don't know, start the, the time lapse, and then let's get some footage of him just chewing this thing up for a little bit, all right? All right, guys, after that brief time lapse, I think I found the perfect chew toy for him he even had set it down and i've just in the reptile room here he went and chilled he tried to bring it under his house with him uh, this is where i just pulled it away from his house he came right back out to chew on it i am so happy because he has not destroyed this which is so good um, because again these he was going through just within 30 seconds to a minute once he figured out he could just bite really hard and chop it down and now that I don't have to worry about that, I'm still only going to let him chew on this when I'm in the room and doing things, but I don't have to be here with an eagle-eyed look. You know, I can be cleaning his bedding. I can be flushing the water bowl. I can be sweeping the top there. I can be working on some of the leopard geckos or the bearded dragons or the snake, whatever. I could be doing anything that I want, and I just know that I got to make sure I take glances at him and that I take it out of here when I'm gone. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this from him and then I want us to uh, inspect the damage. The nice thing guys, and I will leave a link in the description if you've got like a, a medium sized tagu or savanna monitor or you know some, something about this size where the mouth is, the key here guys is mouth size. Although they do make this in a 3.5 inch uh, size, but you get a bag of them. I got eight and they were like 10 bucks on sale on, on Amazon. So what we can do is we can compare this one with a clean one and see what type of damage he did. All right, let's see if I can get this. I just went and got the clean one, and now he's checking me out like, what are you doing? Well, what I'm going to do, hi, good boy. How you doing? Again, this is very well-trained Savannah monitor, guys, touching his face, his nose. He just, he's been chewing on that thing like crazy. He's not going to bite me. I have 100% confidence He's not going to bite me, but where he could bite, and it wouldn't even be to get me, when I pick up and start moving that ball, there's a chance he will bite for the ball and could accidentally get my hand, right? Same thing if I was holding some roaches or a mouse or, or something, he could potentially go for those. So I'm going to pause the video just because I want to get in here with two hands and the camera is in the way. Okay, I know I said I was going to pause the video. But then it came to my attention is I really want to show off how well trained he is towards me and me pausing the video and maybe struggling to get him out of his mouth 
wouldn't be fully transparent with you guys. So I'm going to leave the camera running and attempt to just use one hand and get this from his mouth and hope that him seeing my hand is going to calm him down enough. So let's see what happens. If I end up just with a stump hand, then we'll, we'll know what happened. Okay. And remember guys, do not try this at home. If you haven't been working with your monitor like crazy, or you maybe have another monitor that has a different temperament, or maybe you have a Savannah monitor there that you've been trying to work with, but you know you, you don't feel confident for it, do not do this. Um, I don't know how many warnings I could throw out there, but the last thing I want is, oh, Animal One guy said I could put my hand in there, and then there's my finger. So we're going to see. Uh, but there is a difference, I'll tell you, if when he has this in his mouth is the only time I would go for it to take it from him. If it was by him, I'd want to try to hold him and do a snatch and grab because when it's just loose is when I would have the fear of me starting to move it fresh and then he goes after it. It being in his mouth is the safest time because he can't bite me if he's biting that. So here we go. <sighs> Didn't even go after me. All right, let's move that. Let's let him know that he's a good boy. He's looking for it now. He's like, what? where did it go? Playtime is over, but you were a good boy, all right? Good job. Good boy. All right, let's see the damage. Brush it off. Because obviously, guys, it's going to be some coconut fiber on this. I was going to say dirt, but it's not really dirt. This is all ground up coconut husk. So in the left hand will be the one he chewed on, in the right hand will be the brand new. That's right, I'm looking, here's the new, here's the chewed on. I don't see any rips, tears, anything. It, it doesn't look as clean, you know, and there's bits of coconut in here, but I'm really happy. I'm gonna leave the link to these in the description. Uh, and the nice thing is, you should be able to see when you go on there the different sizes and the different toughness of these. But for me, for my monitor, who's getting close to four and a half feet now, um, this worked great. Simba, do you want to say goodbye? You want to say goodbye to the people? No? Mad? Mad that I took your ball away? Mad that I'm holding your tail? Come on, come say goodbye. Everyone likes it when you say goodbye. Any other feelings? <laughs> All right, guys. Take care.